So we have the Eight of Swords, Three of Wands, Two of Wands, Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Zero of the Fool, Ten of Cups. Now let's take them one by one and analyze the energy here. So I'm holding here the Eight of Cups. Uh, I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords. Now uh, I see a lot of fire, a lot of pressure. We have here a person who is uh bonded okay he cannot see clear he's also blindfolded we have this very sturdy bowl here in the background sitting very close to the fire okay so uh what i understand is that uh, in th you start off um every season with a bit of stress with a bit of uh, cabin fever maybe with a lot of uh, restrictions a lot of mental chatter okay a lot of thoughts going back and forth but somehow going in a circle okay because eight is what repetition okay um it doesn't surprise me to see the eight of swords and i don't think you are either to see this type of energy given um the pandemic that we have uh, worldwide so all activity is somehow brought to a halt and we're experiencing uh, this uh, this type of energy where we're constricted from our uh, normal way of life okay um given that uh, you can't uh, interact with others at the same time i feel uh leo's uh, you somehow when you're not able to shine uh, your light it affects you somehow because you have so much so much love to give so much good uh, energy good vibes um you have a lot uh, to give and i think um Normally, you generate this energy on your own, and whenever you cannot show it or share it with uh, with others, uh, I feel almost like you get bottled up inside. It's like all that fire consumes you from the inside, and I'm actually feeling a lot of pressure um, in my forehead and on the sides of my eyes. So. It's like, maybe for some of you, you're in a situation which in your head has <clears throat> somehow no end. Okay, you're going back and forth about it. Um, it seems like there's no solution, but a solution must be found. And evidently, you would have a Leo there to save the day, and this is you, Leo. So I respect you for the pressure that you feel, but I think it's somehow affecting you. And try to keep, I don't know, your health under check, okay? So if you feel pressure in the head or in your chest or you feel uh, it's hard to breathe, uh, take a moment and, uh, I don't know, just look around simple objects uh, around you, okay? So... I don't know, you notice a glass, you notice a vase, you notice, I don't know, yellow curtains, okay? So just uh, try to try to breathe, okay, when the pressure builds uh, up, okay? Uh, Eight of Swords also talks about uh, mental restraints, okay? Um, some of you... I think all of us, okay, so not some of you, all of us are constricted in this period. Maybe you had high hopes for a project to uh, get off the ground. Um, maybe you wanted to see something through. Um, I don't know how your job situation is, but m maybe that is the domain where you're experiencing this uh, stress because... Uh, um, a lot of employees, a lot of companies uh, are experiencing uh, this restraint right now. So, take into account uh, new curfews, take into account uh, reduced numbers of hours. Um, 
while also keeping, you know, the usual tight schedules, high quality, um, you know, the things that you're famous for giving, okay? Um, this would uh, will still be expected of you. So, moving on from the situation where it seems like there will be no end, uh, I see you after uh, having this stagnation here because it's some sort of a stagnation there's no movement in uh, in the eight of swords um i see you uh going to work okay so here we have the three of wands now the three of wands three in particular pertains to um the minimum number of elements that you need to express or start or conceive something okay um normally you would have the two okay we know the theme of black and white male female but three is the actual structure okay um for example you cannot express uh, uh the simplest uh, geometric form would be, I don't know, a triangle, okay? So, so think about it like this. Um, everything is, uh, long, is uh, working nowadays on uh, bare minimum, okay? So what is uh, the bare minimum number of employees to keep this facility going, for example? Or what is... Um, the minimum number of elements that we need to start this action. So I see you working with the bare minimum of elements, but actually going into action. So here we see you doing uh, something, okay? Um, this card may also talk about the fact that um, given all the restrictions, you will be somehow limited in your actions. Maybe you want to do like, I don't know, you're a Leo, so you can take a lot. Let's say you want to go to work, but in a 10 of ones type of manner, okay? So that would be full steam forward. But now you're limited here and uh, you can only act in this three of ones way, okay? So we had the mental chatter about a certain subject that is very near and dear to you. You can easily identify this uh, this thing that keeps you uh, stuck in a way. Then you go to um, then you go to act on it, and then here with the two of wands comes another uh, stagnation moment. Okay, where before we had the three of wands. And now we have the two of wands, so three, two, we're kind of going backwards, okay? So you're, you've started, um, you started on a course of action. And after you start this, uh, you come to a halt or you bring yourself to a halt. You bring yourself, in a way, it's like you're transporting yourself in time, uh, going back to this crossroads moment with the two of wands here, where maybe you have chosen this path. So you bring yourself back in that position, okay, where you needed to make a choice. So maybe you sacrificed something in the past, and now you're bringing bringing it up again maybe it's another alternative uh, maybe it's another situation something that uh, at the start of uh, every season let's say at the end of uh, march uh, you thought that it's not available to you anymore but here with the two of wands here it comes back so this is like the two of wands i see it as a portal okay once you choose a path you go, uh, you go with it, and I don't think you're being forced. You see, Leo, I see, I see it a bit strange because it's like you're summoning up here another possibility, another course of action, and it's not so much the fact that you're bringing yourself back to these two uh, action paths, uh, but 
more than that, you understand that if you want to choose one of them for real and for good this time, um, you need to sacrifice the other. So in the Five of Cups here that comes along after the Two of Wands, here I think the sacrifice is being made. As you can see, um, <clears throat> this person is clothed here, wearing a lot of uh, black. We have three uh, spilled uh, cups here on the ground with a small goldfish, so this would be a wish, okay? This is why I associate them with, uh, with uh, wishes, okay? So, <clears throat> you have to give up some, um, some dreams of yours. You have to sacrifice some things. I usually see the five of cards of having this energy of going back in time uh, like a mental exercise or a meditation okay so you go back in time and you relive these situations that maybe pop up in your head and don't give you any sort of uh, peace of quiet and you start sacrificing them after you understand why those things have happened and you have took uh, you have taken all that you can from from them as experience uh, then uh, you need to put it to, to rest and for you Leos uh, I think a purge would be <coughs> would be <laughs> more uh, descriptive of your internal process but here we see it uh, under the form of cups. So there are some bonds with some people, okay? When I see uh, this wine here, I also associate it with uh, blood. Um, <clears throat> so it's probably that you need to sever some, some ties, okay? Mm. And I feel it's strongly connected to the past because normally the two of wands I don't associate it with uh with the past but i felt this energy here coming after the three of wands when you summoned a possibility from from your background and these people here are somewhat back to back it's like you almost don't want to be aware of the fact that you need to make some sacrifices and it's it kind of fits with this period if you think about it because you cannot just go around seeing people or visiting whoever. You really need to choose uh, those who are most important uh, to you in this, uh, in this period, okay? So, yes, I guess you will need to sacrifice a few things. But it's okay because uh, in this year we will learn a lot about minimalism, about... Um, I don't know, sacrificing uh, some comforts that we have that we normally shouldn't ever had. But as you know, we as humans like comfort. Okay, but a lot of comfort also makes us weak. So maybe this year, <coughs> we as a humanity, we will learn to sacrifice some unnecessary things. But for you, Leo, in particular... I see bonds with other people, okay? And while this person is not even looking at the viewer, okay, he's actually focused here on uh, these three spilled cups and looking at the two cups here that he's holding, will he sacrifice these also? We don't know, but this person is looking here towards um, the sacrificial uh, ritual. And afterwards, you have the Knight of Pentacles coming here right after. Now, the Knight of Pentacles talks about um, an Earth energy, okay? So, this is a very stable Earth energy, and this is also a Knight, so he is on a mission. And he's the slowest moving of the Knights, he's uh, the more, uh, one of the to more feminine knights, let's say, uh, because uh, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups are more subdued um, energy than, let's say, fire and uh, air, okay? 
So the Knight of Pentacles here is a very determined energy. I think it is a person. It may be you or another person in your life. You just need to figure out who is this stable energy with a mission in in mind. Okay. Now you see the Knight of Pentacles is somewhat drawn back to the past. Okay. He's uh, um, facing uh, left the left side here so it's um it's sort of a taurus theme okay because knight of pentacles may talk about uh, let's say a uh, taurus a virgo or a capricorn or any person who manifests this type of energy but when i see here the knight of pentacles i'm feeling like this um taurus energy where uh, Taurus is usually melancholic about the past, okay? Like, Tauruses are uh, refined people who like to wine and dine and uh, be melancholic about uh, the past, in a way. Um, <clears throat> so, here, the Knight of Pentacles, this, uh, this person, is facing like with his whole body towards this sacrificial ritual right here okay but he at the same time if you can see here this person is almost looking towards the viewer okay so he's present here at the sacrifice but he's kind of i don't know i feel he, like he's checking to see if you wince or what's your general reaction to the sacrifice this may be you leo uh, being very sure of yourself being very grounded uh, and guarded maybe uh, but having no sort of remorse for the others because now it's a time of sacrifice okay so we must be sturdy another thing that I feel here between these two um, you see the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving um, knight as I said and he's slow moving because he also carries like a heavy load with him like a very valuable thing um, is in his possession okay uh, so this is why I sort of feel for some of you, you would you will have this theme of money and gold. Money and gold. Well, I hope uh, none of you are involved in uh, illegal uh, activities, but I sort of feel this uh, this theme here. Um, or I hope none of you are quarreling with, I don't know, family members or significant other over gold or, I don't know, possessions, money, and things of the sort. <clears throat> um, there's no quarrel here, um, but I see, I see you as being somehow empowered. It's like you're cutting out uh, some bad energy from from your past okay you're leaving this uh, this idea that you had uh, at the end of march coming into april uh, sacrificing these emotional bonds to a project and here i feel uh, that you are now well equipped and very sure of your mission moving forward and when you make this sort of cleaning inside your aura, inside your mind, inside your uh, psyche, your being, okay? I don't know, maybe some of you are doing some detox in this period. It would be amazing. But once you get rid of the gunk, okay? Uh, once you get over, let's say, maybe a disease, maybe a problem, you feel empowered, Okay, you feel very valuable. You feel very aware of, uh, I don't know, how valuable your own health is. Okay, so, <laughs> and it's 
somewhat funny here that after the Knight of Pentacles here with uh after being um it, it's funny because it's on a squirrel after being equipped with like a uh, transportation um a flag uh armor a uh, heavy shield okay after we get so empowered we're very sure of our grounding okay afterwards we can travel very lightly and maybe our weapon actually becomes i don't know some sort of uh, utility uh, tool but it it doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that uh, there's no violence somehow in uh, the Fool card. Okay, so we have Zero of the Fool after the Knight of Pentacles. And here, if you look, it's like one person is here with this uh, blood gold ritual, okay? And another one is walking away. 